in a recent episode of MacGyver, he uses a magnet. This is a magnet to stick a phone on a truck. So this is a refrigerator magnet, and they work a little bit different than a normal magnet. So let me show you the really cool part of it. So I have here, uh, this would be like a refrigerator, okay? And here's my normal magnet, and you'll notice that if I put it right here, it sticks, okay? Now, I could take it and turn it around, it still sticks. That's what a normal magnet does. So in a normal magnet, we say that it has domains. And these are small parts of the magnet that are themselves really tiny magnets and they're all lined up. So this would be a normal magnet. You see here these represent the little domains and they're all lined up. So on this end I have north poles and so it acts like a north pole and here I have the south ends of the domains acts like a south uh, pole. And the nice thing is if I cut this in half and in fact this is actually two magnets but if I break it in half then each magnet will also have another north and a south pole. So that's one of the cool things about magnets. But the refrigerator magnet is different. So here is my refrigerator magnet. I'm gonna put it on my thing. Great, okay. Now let's turn it around. And I took the, the paper off of this one so you see it doesn't matter. I turn it around, it doesn't stick. It only sticks on one side. Okay, here's another one. This one does have paper. It sticks, doesn't stick. Here's another one. It sticks, it doesn't stick. Okay, so the refrigerator magnets only work on one side. If you were able to look inside at the magnetic domain, this is what it would look like. The domains aren't all straight in a line. Instead, they make these little curved circles. So this is my refrigerator, and this is a side view. Here, I have a north pole. Here, I have two south poles right next to each other. So they add up. But right here, I have very little magnetic domains. And in fact, this one's going that way. We're looking at it from the side. It's not as strong. And down here, it's going the other way. So right here, I have two north poles, and they add up. So overall, I get an attractive effect on this side, and nothing on that. Now here's the cool part. I dropped it. Take your, if you have two of these, and you put them on the attractive side, like that, together. Now when I pull them, well, that one doesn't work. Let me get another one. Okay, how about this one? There we go. So now I have two magnets. I'm going to pull them. Look at that. It, it, uh, when you are rubbing these two over each other, when the two uh, magnets get aligned opposite ways, they repel and it pushes it away. But then it attracts back. So you can make this little, little rubbing sound. So you could find some refrigerator magnets and try that. Now you'll notice that if I do it this way and then I do it that way, it doesn't work. That's why that previous pair didn't work. I had it lined up the wrong way. So you can you can play with these, uh, all sorts of cool stuff. You could even, you know, use it to attach things to your refrigerator. That not that, it's on a refrigerator. That one. All right, that's magnets.